We are starting in reverse here. I'm starting from the bottom. Last, the first. We are starting from 60 Pungroki Free. The candidate is awarded to Mr. T. Setsatong. May I please call him to come and receive the certificate? Next, 59 Sayujun City Me, Mr. Kipili Santam. Next, Mr. Benny M. Lamtio, 59, uh, 57, Tonokyo. Next, Mr. Vevoye Badio from 17 Sesame. from Edin Chuzaba. I have the last certificate, but like our uh, Sir Rameshwar mentioned, this is the first list and we will be announcing the rest of the uh, names in the second list, second phase. So I request the candidate sitting here not to be dis disheartened but uh, hope that he will be awarded the ticket. Now it's uh, Mr. Nuklotoshi from 42. <laughs> Long live, long live NPP, long live Corner Sangma, long live PS Sangma, okay? Long live NPP, long live NPP, long live NPP, long live NPP, Corner Sangma, long live Long live Long live PS Sangma, long live PS Sangma, long live PS Sangma, long live PS Sangma. We are very glad. And to 
announce today the D Devi College. We have been today privileged to have about uh, 12 candidates for the first list today. So we have announced 12 candidates today in the other hall, community hall where we sat today, and we are dealing with all the formalities and everything is almost finished. And the second session will be probably tomorrow, and it will go on till maybe before the last date. So we are privileged that uh, we have a very two prominent uh, uh, personalities over here. Sir Kipali, he is from 59. He was a former minister, and also Nato Kushi here on the side. And we have the two national uh, general secretaries who have come to Nagaland also. So we will be having setting up quite a lot number of candidates. But as of now, we are just declaring 12. And we have had a release of the manifesto. Also, we have had the release of the song, which we have done it in three versions. One is English, one is Hindi and English, and one is the Nagamese. So this we have released today. And then uh, we'll be starting with the war footing very soon. A lot of good candidates are coming to our role, but we are just being quite selective because we need to handpick and choose the best that we can. And that's it right now. And we are privileged that also that in Meghalaya we'll be going together. So that has been a big advan disadvantage, I would say that, because had we been uh, either first or second, it would have been a better thing for all, but uh, being going at one time together, it was quite difficult because the septic could not give 100% attention over here because of that factor, but no, nevertheless, they are always with us 24-7. Anytime a call, it's just a call away, and they're giving the utmost assistance in whatever ways they can, and the team is here anytime for us. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned you have 12, uh, 12 candidates who received the tickets right. today, yeah. yeah. So how many more are yet to be received? Can you give us any assumptions and assume number? We will be giving probably 20 plus candidates we'll more. be setting up. Yeah. Uh, altogether 20 plus total, yeah. We are random. We are not just handpicking any constitution. We are just looking at the good people, those who have got acumen of serving the society. And then uh, we do not particularly handpick any kind of a district or EC. Is right. yeah. uh, we don't, uh, NPP never has gone for the pre poll. We have always gone for the post poll, and obviously we are in the NADA. So, being in the NADA, uh, right now the NADA is NTPP and the BGP. So, we are allied in the NADA. So, post poll, we will be together. We are here to serve the people of Nagaland. Our main purpose here is that today we are to bring a new Nagaland where the basic amenities, basic facilities to the common man which is their doorstep. Along with that, we want to increase the status of the Naga people through proper education system by providing basic drinking water supply, by giving good healthcare system and livelihood projects whereby ultimately, which is most important, increasing the per capita income of the people. And today, the team of our state team led, led by Dr. Andrew and senior leaders who have newly joined us and who's having the political experience and who's having the gesture to do best for the people of Nagaland will be marching forward and will be surely being part of the next government in Nagaland. And uh, as our president, state president said, we have been part of the NEDA Alliance and we will be there after the post war uh, post election, we will be there in the NEDA team. If you look at as uh, I was also telling during the launch of our manifesto and our uh, song, uh, party song, uh, that we are trying to cover social, economic, and cultural perspective of the state because, of course, physically we have to have infrastructural development, but when only there is a physical infrastructure development if we cannot the mind and the knowledge of the people grow through the very mission of NPP that is education it will not have any meaning so we will also along with infrastructure development we will get into social sector where we will develop the people and at the same time maintaining our identity Naga identity and try to push the Naga culture ahead so that we become one of the known community full of culture, full of tradition and full of identity.